One nifty add-on launched alongside the OnePlus 3 was a limited edition VR headset. The Loop VR is powered by Ant VR and certainly looks the part of a high-quality phone-based VR solution. For folks looking to dip their toes into some virtual reality, does it make sense to try and pair up a OnePlus 3 with this headset? Sure, it would be great to keep the branding consistent, but this headset comes with a few issues. First, what we like. It's really easy to use this headset. Lenses click easily side to side to accommodate most people's faces, and sliding your phone into this front section works great. The phone is well secured for even aggressive head waggling. And that's about it for positives. What we don't like, the hard plastic on the bridge of the nose is extremely uncomfortable. The fit around the eyes and face is fine, but the flare on the sides allows for a lot of light leakage, enough where I could clearly see items in my office behind me reflecting off of the lenses. And of course, there are no buttons or controls, so to use this headset with something like Google Cardboard or other VR apps is kind of a no-go. We don't even get a QR code to pair it with the Cardboard app. You just have to select a generic experience when launching Cardboard, and our OnePlus 3 was really squirrely during the Cardboard demos. Overall, though the face fit is a bit more comfortable, this experiment pales in comparison to the LG headset which was shipped out with the LG G3. Loop VR is at least somewhat more compatible with other phones, but it doesn't work with current VR apps nearly as well. For those folks who got one of these as part of the OnePlus promotion, it's tough to be overly critical about a product that might have cost you five bucks in shipping fees. Yeah, it's a bummer you can't control anything, but pop in some headphones, fire up a movie, slide the phone in, and chill. It works well for passive video consumption. What's not so cool though is looking up the headset online. Resellers are asking for $40 or more. At prices like these, we can't recommend enough that OnePlus owners stay away. There are a variety of cardboard compatible headsets which work better and are cheaper. Also, in using the Loop VR with a OnePlus 3, this is one of the situations where the AMOLED display impacts video quality. This screen is not a great fit for virtual reality, where magnification is blowing up the pentile sub-pixel grid on the phone screen, and you can clearly see all of those pixels. VR is fun to play with, and it's incredible we can power a solid experience from our phones, but we wouldn't recommend going out of your way to track one of these headsets down to try it out. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more reviews like these and our full OnePlus 3 coverage with the most in-depth camera review available online. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.